Experiment variables. When testing a hypothesis, scientists conduct experiments by changing one thing and seeing how it will influence something else. Sometimes they need to keep things the same so they can understand how one thing affects the other. These things are called variables, and by identifying them, scientists ensure their experiments are fair. Examples of variables. This simple experiment involves hydrochloric acid reacting with iron sulfide to create hydrogen sulfide and as an independent, dependent, and controlled variable. The amount of hydrochloric acid is the independent variable. The amount of iron sulfide is the controlled variable. The amount of hydrogen sulfide produced is the dependent variable. Key facts. Variables are things that can affect the result of results of your experiment. The independent variable is the thing that you change during an experiment. The independent variable is the thing that you measure. That the dependent variable is the thing that you measure when you change the independent variable during an experiment. The controlled variables are the things that you try and keep the same during an experiment. Control experiments. There are things that may be impossible to control, such as temperature of a room or the time of day. A control experiment is the same experiment, but when but where nothing is changed. The results of this are compared with your original experiments, so you can see the effects of things outside your control. Safe experiments. It's important to conduct experiments safely to avoid any accidents happening. Sometimes chemistry experiments can involve corrosive acids or heating substances, so there's a risk of being injured or burned. The safety equipment shown here helps make experiments safer. Protecting your eyes. Glasses protect your eyes from small particles during explosive chemical reactions. Protecting your hands. Gloves protect your skin from accidental spills of corrosive substances. Safe heating. Water baths are a safer and more efficient way of heating substances by submerging them in hot water instead of using an open flame from a Bunsen burner. Preventing fires. Heatproof mats prevent fires from starting in the laboratory. Heatproof mats. Protecting your body. Lab coats protect your body from harmful substances. Dangerous chemicals. Some chemical substances can be dangerous. Look out for labels and bottles that provide different types of warnings. Flammable, corrosive, toxic. Key facts. Experiments can be unsafe. Equipment or procedures should be planned for to keep experiments as safe as possible.